In this next part, we're going to be doing the classic tween with a motion guide and a little custom easing with our car. So I, I suggested that you turn this into a movie clip symbol to begin with, but I'm going to have to redo mine now. So I'm going to first convert this to a movie clip, which is going to be called my car. And of course, this is a pretty ugly one. You might be able to design one that looks a little bit better, but I was just taking very little time. And now I'm going to convert this to a symbol as well, and this is going to be the car anim. So we're now nesting that car into a new timeline where we'll do the animation. Now double click to go into the timeline of the car animation and we're going to be doing um, a new motion guide layer. In order to do this you can create the motion guide layer first but you can also right click and choose add classic motion guide and this will actually create a new layer for you. On this new layer, we're going to create our motion guide. So I'm going to use the pen tool and click once and click and drag, click and drag and click. And that makes kind of a motion guide for me to move on. Now I could adjust this afterwards by clicking on it and maybe even clicking on it with the white arrow. That might give me a little bit more ability to edit this path. There we go. And it just makes it look a little nicer when I make it nice and smooth. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but one of the things I'm looking for is having this car kind of move straight out, go ahead and turn around, and then move straight out. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back to the black arrow, and we need to get ready to animate. Now, the animation is on layer 1, and that one will need a new keyframe. So let's right-click and choose Insert Keyframe for Layer 1. For the uh, Motion Guide, we want that not to have another keyframe, so let's right-click and choose Insert Frame instead. This way, the Motion Guide will exist the entire length of the animation, but we'll have two different um, uh, keyframes for the car movement. Now, the first frame, I want to nudge just a little bit, because I want to make sure if I zoom in that the center of that car is touching the path. So I can move that up just a little bit until I can see that that particular um, point is touching the path. And now I'm going to go to the last keyframe, and, and I'm going to move the car down to the bottom. Now I'm using the space bar to get the hand tool to make it easy to move, and I'm trying to get this to snap right there at the bottom. And you can see it kind of snaps to it pretty pretty well. Oops, I double clicked on it accidentally. Now let's right click and choose Create Classic Tween. Now if you zoom out, you'll notice now your tween should be the car moving on the path. Now one of the things it, that can happen is if your object is not on the path correctly, then you'll notice that it goes in a straight line from the beginning to the end. You need to make sure that that center point is touching the path. Then it will definitely move along it. Now the last thing that we're going to do with this is, or the second to last thing we're going to do, is actually orient this car to the path so it will kind of turn with the path. And that's the button over here in Properties. So you need to click on the tween, then go to your Properties and click on Orient to Path. And you'll now see that that car is oriented along that path as it animates. Now notice that since this line is going pretty much straight out, it follows the car. And now since it's ending pretty much straight out, that's why the car looks like it is animating properly on it. If we had it rotated, it might look a little funny. Now the next thing that we're going to do is do a little bit of custom easing. We can ease with the tweening right here. But in order to do a little custom easing, we might want to click on the Edit Easing button here, and you'll see it comes up with the Custom Ease In and Ease Out. And what I can do is I can mess with this path, and you'll see it's slow, speeds up, and slows down. Now we can do other things with this path as well. We can actually go in and really edit this path a lot if we want, by adding keyframes in between, and we can have it kind of back up even.
So now it will go forward, back up a little bit, and then go forward again. Now 30 frames is not a lot of length to be able to have this long of an animation or this complex of an animation. So I'm going to extend it a little bit. In order to extend it, you can place your mouse anywhere or your timeline indicator anywhere between the, the um, keyframes here and make sure that you don't have any frames selected because this will make a difference. And when you're placed between them, press the F5 button and it will add frames. Now if you want to add more frames quickly, you can select a range of frames for the layers that you want to add frames for and press the F5. And what that will do is it will add the same amount of frames as you have currently selected. So it's very easy to extend this animation out. And now you can see if we watch that animation, it's definitely a little bit more interesting now, especially being a little bit longer. I'm going to make that curve not quite so steep. This way we can see it animate a little bit better. It seemed to be jumping from one place to the other. There we can see it animate and then it goes back. So that last part of the animation is pretty quick right through here. So I'm going to just scale that back a little bit. And if we want to watch our animation, we can go to Control Test Movie. And now you can see that animation. So this concludes the four different types of classic tweens that we're going to do. One with a transform, one with a color effect, one with um, filters and some text just to show how text has to be converted to outlines or to um, a shape. And then also one using a motion guide with orient to path and some custom easing. In the next tutorial, we're going to add the code for the stop and play of each animation. So save your work here and go on.